I would say I was very lucky to have a mentor, or actually two, in echocardiography. And I think it's very important to have one. A mentor is actually more than a teacher. He also serves as a role model. And the nice thing is, you can absorb the experience of a mentor and thereby save years of training. Now, in my career, the first mentor I had was Professor Masoud Zangane. He worked at the Persian University and he came to Vienna, I guess, in the 80s and then to the Medical University of Vienna. And he was the one who actually taught me how to focus on things and how to put all the echocardiographic findings into a clinical context. And then the second mentor I had was Helmut Baumgartner. He's, of course, a very well-known cardiologist. He writes the guidelines. He's, a, of course, still a very, very good friend of mine. And he's also one of the smartest people I met. He taught me this art of persistence and curiosity. And he also taught me the scientific aspects of echocardiography. I mean, I, I remember when I wrote one of my very first publications, you know, I would write the publication, the draft, and then send it to him. And then he would send it back and it would go back and forth. At the end, it was version 43 that we submitted. But we got it published. So that kind of taught me that you have to be very exact and you have to be persistent. And uh, this is something that I try to do as well now in our teaching and, and of course still in the practice of echocardiography. The important thing, however, is that this relationship between the mentor and the apprentice is something that is strongly built on give and take. And obviously, it's also a relationship which is built on trust. I think a good mentor puts a lot of time to the training of the apprentice, so he must get something back. And if you want to find and entice a mentor, of course, you have to choose carefully who your mentor is. You also have to give to the mentor. Otherwise, he will not give back to you. On the flip side, I do see that young learners are sometimes kind of seen like servants or slaves and abused. This is also not good. Now, the apprentice gets nothing out of this and ultimately he will just take any chance to leave the so-called mentor once this dependency is not there anymore. And this not only harms the mentor's reputation in the long run, but it also cuts him short of one of the most rewarding things you can get. It's to see that someone you've taught strives. Now, in our messages, we frequently offer our students to be their mentors. But can this be done over the internet? Now, if the content we teach is nothing more than just reciting textbook knowledge or going through guidelines, it definitely would not work. So what we do, we provide lots of personal experience. We weigh things. We tell you what's important and what not, and we provide tons of tips and tricks which we'll, we'll not find in textbooks. And of course, we also spend a lot of time to answer questions and stay engaged with our community. So in a way, you will save lots of time since you can also feed on the experience of the teacher. As a matter of fact, that's also the feedback we get from our community. But the bottom line is, it's probably in any craft you want to learn you will need someone to put you on track. But once you find the right mentor, it's all about building a relationship of trust.